Hello everyone and welcome to the Williams Tops TV community. I am your host and I am excited to take you on a tour of the 10 strangest graves in the world. Each of these tombs is unique and has an intriguing story behind it that has captivated the imagination of people around the world. So get ready to explore together and uncover the mysteries behind these incredible tombs. Let's get started. Number 10, Rosalia Lombardo. The story behind the Rosalia Lombardo mummy is a mix of tragedy and fascination. Little Rosalia tragically passed away at the age of two from pneumonia in the year 1920. Her father, devastated by the loss, sought a way to immortalize her memory in a special way and decided to commission expert embalmer Alfredo Salafia to mummify his daughter. Salafia accepted the task and set to work on Rosalia's mummification using innovative techniques for the time, such as replacing her blood with formaldehyde and drying her skin with a mixture of alcohol and glycerin. In addition, he used salicylic acid to protect her body from fungi. The final result was impressive, and today, Rosalia can be seen in a hermetically sealed glass case, into which even nitrogen gas has been introduced to better preserve her. It's hard not to be fascinated by Rosalia's appearance, which looks like she's simply sleeping rather than being a mummy over 100 years old. Number 9. Victorian Mort Safes the Victorian era was known for its extravagant and eccentric customs, and the protection of the dead was no exception. During that time, it became common to place iron cages over graves in cemeteries, known as mort safes, to protect the dead from body snatchers. Yes, as you heard, body snatchers were a real threat at that time, as they sold stolen bodies to local medical institutions for study. Therefore, mort safes were not intended to keep the dead inside the graves, but to prevent body snatchers from digging them up. It's hard to imagine how terrifying it must have been for the relatives of the deceased to see these cages over the graves of their loved ones, but for Victorians, it was a necessary measure to protect bodies from ruthless snatchers. Fortunately, this practice faded over time, and it's now difficult to find any mort safes in cemeteries today. Number 8. Tyra no Masakado Tyra no Masakado was a samurai who lived during the Heian period and led a rebellion against the central government based in Kyoto. His struggle against the state had serious consequences, and in 940 he was executed by decapitation as punishment for his actions. However, Masakado's story did not end there. It is said that his head did not decompose for three months after his death and that his eyes continued to rotate in his skull. Over time, his head was buried in what is now Tokyo and became the hero of a legend. The legend states that if Masakado's tomb is desecrated or moved, a great natural disaster will befall the land. Perhaps out of caution, superstition, or simply out of respect, Masakado's tomb is the oldest and best preserved in the world. It is located in the Chiyoda district of Tokyo and is a sacred place for many Japanese people who consider him a spiritual protector of the city. The story of Taira no Masakado continues to fascinate people around the world, and his tomb is an important tourist attraction for those interested in Japanese culture. In addition, his legacy as a samurai and his struggle against the central government remains a symbol of resistance and fight for justice for many Japanese people today. Number 7. Lily E. Gray the story behind Lily E. Gray's headstone is quite mysterious. The inscription on her headstone, which reads, Victim of the Beast 666, has left many cemetery visitors perplexed. But the truth behind this inscription is even stranger. It turns out that Lily's husband, Elmer Gray, had an obsession with conspiracy theories and deeply distrusted the government of the United States. After Lily's death, Elmer blamed the government for her death and refused to accept any financial assistance they could offer. Instead, he decided to build the headstone with the inscription, Victim of the Beast 666 inches, as a form of protest against the government. Although it's an intriguing story, the truth behind Lily's death remains unknown. Was she really a victim of the government or simply a victim of circumstance? No one knows for sure. But Lily's headstone remains an intriguing mystery for those who visit the cemetery. Number 6. The Chase Family Crypt The Chase Family Crypt is one of the most puzzling mysteries in history. It is a family tomb built in 1805 in New Hampshire, USA, 
and was the final resting place for several members of the Chase family. However, starting in 1813, the tomb began to show signs of inexplicable activity. When the first family member was buried there, grave diggers discovered that all the coffins had been displaced from their original position, although nothing had been stolen. Six years later, the tomb was opened again for the burial of another family member, and again the coffins had been moved, including the heavy lead coffin of Thomas Chase. This pattern continued every time the crypt was opened, leading locals to gather and witness the next event. The governor of Barbados, Lord Combermere, witnessed one of these strange experiences in 1819 and ordered a thorough investigation. White plaster was spread on the floor of the crypt to detect footprints of the alleged desecrators, and the walls were investigated for any secret passages. The tomb was closed with Combermere's personal seal imprinted in the cement surrounding the door. However, less than a year later, when the tomb was reopened, the coffins had been moved again, some even in a vertical position, and another was found on the stairs leading down from the door. Faced with this strange situation, Combermere decided that the coffins should be moved and buried elsewhere, abandoning the Chase family crypt, which remains sealed to this day. The strange events in this tomb have puzzled many and generated all kinds of speculation and hypotheses, but the mystery of who or what could have moved the coffins remains unresolved. Number 5. Mary Shelley The story of Mary Shelley is one of the most unique on the list, as it involves an unusual and somewhat macabre display of love. When her husband, poet Percy Bysshe Shelley, died in a tragic boating accident in Italy in 1822, Mary and her friends, including poets Lord Byron and Lee Hunt, cremated the body on the beach. However, it is said that Shelley's heart refused to burn with the rest of the body and was retrieved by Hunt days later. Once back in England, Hunt handed the heart over to Mary, who kept it in the top drawer of her desk for nearly 30 years. When Mary died in 1851, the heart was wrapped in an a 4 sized sheet containing a manuscript of the poem Adonis, an elegy on the death of John Keats, written by Shelley in memory of the poet John Keats. The sheet was placed in Mary's coffin along with the heart of her beloved husband. Although it may seem a strange act and somewhat macabre, this display of love and devotion is consistent with Mary Shelley's nature as the author of the famous novel Frankenstein or the modern Prometheus, which deals with the creation of a creature from human body parts. Before continuing, don't forget to leave your like and subscribe. We also invite you to activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Number 4. Russian Mafia the Uralmash Cemetery in Ekaterinburg, Russia, is known for its graves of mobsters who died in the gang wars of the 1990s. What makes this cemetery even more unsettling is that many of the headstones have life-size portraits engraved on granite, creating a sort of gallery of mafia suspects. One of these tombs belongs to Alexander Kabarov, the leader of one of the gangs at that time, who, in addition to having an imposing portrait, also has a closed-circuit television camera that ensures constant surveillance 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, all year round. This cemetery is a reflection of the culture of the Russian Mafia, where gang leaders and high-profile criminals are honored in death with portraits and other ostentatious displays on their graves. While it is a final resting place for many, it is also a constant reminder of the violence and power that the Mafia has wielded in Russia. Number 3. Inez Clark Inez Clark was a girl who tragically died at the age of six when she was struck by lightning in the year 1880. Her parents, heartbroken by the loss of her daughter, commissioned a life-size sculpture in her memory. The sculpture shows Inez seated on a bench in a lace dress, holding a parasol and a flower. Sculpture is quite common in tombs, right? But what makes her unique is that she is protected in a large plexiglass box. This grave is all the more disturbing when people who visit the cemetery report seeing a girl dressed in old-fashioned clothing playing near the grave. Many believe that it is Inez's spirit that still haunts the graveyard. It's understandable that this might be chilling to some, but it's also a touching display of parental love and care for her deceased daughter. Number 2. Kitty J. The tomb of Jay, also known as Kitty Jay, is a grass-covered mound in Dartmoor that has puzzled people for many years. 
It is believed to be the resting place of a woman who committed suicide in the late 18th century, and because the church considered suicide a sin at that time, she was denied burial in consecrated ground. Instead, the woman was buried at a crossroads so that her spirit would be confused and could never find its way to the afterlife. Despite the apparent lack of attention to the tomb, which is in a fairly remote location, fresh flowers regularly appear on it. No one has claimed responsibility for these floral tributes, which has only added to the mystery surrounding Kitty J's tomb. Ghost hunters have turned the place into a place of worship, and there have been numerous paranormal investigations at the site. Despite this, the mystery remains unsolved, and Kitty J's tomb remains an intriguing and puzzling place. Number 1. Princess Elizabeth de Midoff. The story of Princess Elizabeth de Midoff is one of the most fascinating in Per Lachaise Cemetery. This woman from the Russian nobility married the first prince of San Donato in a loveless marriage. But what made her a legendary figure was her death and the strange challenge she left for the brave who dared to try it. Princess de Midoff died in a tragic and unusual way, almost in a state of madness. Before she passed away, she left a challenge for anyone strong enough to accept it. To spend an entire week inside her mausoleum to receive a portion of her enormous fortune. Since then, many have attempted to complete the challenge, but none have succeeded. Some have emerged in a state of shock, others have suffered mental illness and others have died. But the fortune of Princess Demidoff remains unclaimed. This story has attracted many adventurers and curious individuals who have attempted to complete the challenge, but most have failed. The tomb of Princess Elizabeth de Midoff has become a popular tourist attraction, but also a place of legend and mystery that has captivated generations of visitors to Per Lachaise. Thank you for joining us on this thrilling tour of the 10 strangest graves in the world. We hope you enjoyed the intriguing and mysterious stories behind these tombs. Don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating content in the future. Until next time.